Math Dad here with Science Mom, ready for challenge problem number 33. I feel a little guilty about this one because it's on the hard, hard side, but Science Mom's up to the challenge. I'm going to give her four minutes on this and maybe encourage her to ask for some hints if it co <laughs> comes to that. Just, just saying. All right. All right, so our scenario here is a host and a hostess invite three other couples to join them for dinner. Okay. So eight individuals, the host and the hostess are special in this problem. Once everyone arrives, they shake hands, but each person only shakes hands with people that they don't know. Okay. Then the host asks everyone how many hands they shook, and each person replies with a different number. So assuming that everyone knows his or her own spouse, how many hands did the hostess shake? How interesting. Okay. It definitely sounds like there's not enough information here. Yeah, yeah. Um... Right, I'm so, intrigued. And I've got this screen here for you to draw on. All right, and I can draw on the board. Perfect. You, you can draw on this, maybe connect lines to people who Okay. shaking hands. All right. Any questions before we start? Nope. Then... Um, if you're watching, you can pause the video and give it a try yourself. Just click in the description to log into Desmos. And your four minutes begin now. All right. So if, if everyone knew each person, then the number of hands shaken would be zero. I'm going to kind of like try and work backwards a little bit. Um, so like for this, let's see, this couple does not know the host and the hostess. So they would shake these hands. And if they know this couple... So, so that individual. That individual, yeah. Okay. Um, that would have them each shaking two hands, and we need a different number for everybody, so I'm going to go with three, two, I'm just going to see if I can sure. come up with one, but then the crazy part is trying to know how many of the hostess, hmm, this is interesting. Let's get this interesting real quick. Okay, so I could have this person shaking four hands, this person shaking one. We have one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three. But then they're same number. Mm. One, two, three, four. Now the host could have the same number of shakes as everyone else's. It's only the other seven people that had each shaken a different number of hands. It's not even possible for them to each shake a different number of hands. <laughs> I think we need to have a zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so those are the seven numbers that are going to need to show up. I agree. Yeah. Perhaps not in those locations, but good. So, so could the hostess have shaken six hands? Yeah, and that's the most that anybody can shake if each person knows their spouse. Like well, the so if possible. she's shaken six hands, are all six of the other numbers possible? No. Oh, so you've narrowed it down. She did not shake, shake six, six hands. hands. Someone else did. So who's going to be the zero? I think the host has to be the zero. No, the, the, well, the host can be any number. Don't, don't worry about him. Don't worry about him? Okay. Yeah. His number doesn't matter. But, but someone else shook six hands. Why don't you draw that in? Okay. So if they shook six hands, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then someone else shook five hands. Well, and you also know who shook zero hands, don't you? That's right. That one has to be zero. Okay. All right. Zero hands, six hands. Could the hostess have shaken five hands? Maybe. No. Five. 
I don't see why she couldn't have shaken five. Well, then who would have shaken one hand? Mm. That, four, that four minutes went by really fast. It, it did. This was a, not the easiest of problems. Can we have five and one? The host. Well, the, the, the host. It doesn't matter what number oh. he has. Right now he yeah, has a two. No problem. Um. But can this person stay with only shaking that hand? One, two. And then that would mean we would have to have three and four. Right now we have two here. The, the, the host isn't eating up a two. Oh, that's right. I, I don't care how many. It doesn't matter how many he has. Got you. So two, three, and four are still possibilities. Two. Okay, so right now I've drawn one, two, three, five, six, zero, and it works. Three. But the hostess has three, and this person has three. And that can't happen, they need to have a different number. We need a different number of handshakes. Although, if you just draw a line between that one and the host. Oh. No, no, keep that one. Keep that one. Keep that one? Oh, just give him another. Yeah, suddenly. Another four. He's got yeah. four. Alright, so in this, the way you filled it in, the hostess had three handshakes. Mm -hmm. Now, is that the number that she has to have? Is, it, is anything else possible? Turns out, no. Really? Yeah, and you. But how can you know that no other arrangements are possible? Let's go through the logic. Alright. Okay. So, we first of all said, could the hostess have shaken six hands? And the answer was no, because then there would be no zero. Mm -hmm. All right, so that means that someone else had to do six, and we just picked one, two, three, four, five, six. And that meant that this one had to be the zero, because everyone else has already shaken a hand. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to do the exact same piece of logic. Could the hostess have shaken five hands? So you got one, two, three, four, five. If we draw lines from those to the hostess, then there's nobody who would shake one, one hand. hand. Mm -hmm. Remember, the, the host, we're ruling him out. We don't care yeah. how many hands he shakes. Ah, so the hostess couldn't do five. That means one of these others has to be a five. Let's mm -hmm. pick one, call it a five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And then we can see that who shook one hand, it has to be the spouse of the person who shook five hands. All right, could the hostess have shaken four hands? Well, we run through the same logic again, so we know it shook this one, this one, and then these two, but then you would find that there was nobody who could have shaken two hands in that case. It was one of these proof by contradiction yeah. ideas. So the, the hostess couldn't have shaken four hands, one of these two had to. So Maybe that guy shook four hands. So one, two. So he has to shake the host and hostess hands to get his four. That's right. And that would make that this one the two, which then only leaves a three for the hostess. And it turns out you can also tell for sure that the host also shook three hands. Hmm. Pretty cool. Yeah, so kind of a tricky problem, perhaps not the, the best to try to squeeze into a short video, but I liked it. Yeah, it was too beautiful to leave out. <laughs>